Sunday, October 8, 2023. Micah Miller and her husband, John Paul Miller, a pastor from Solid Rock Church, filed for divorce. They were married back in 2017. Micah's friend said she had led the woman's ministry and worship team at the same church. Thursday, February 8, 2024. Micah's involuntary hospitalized for 48 hours. Wednesday, February 21st, 2024. Michael calls police and alleges her ex-husband stole her car while she was hospitalized. She tells the officer she has known her husband since she was 10 years old and that he, quote, groomed her, end quote, while she worked for him at Solid Rock Church until they were wed in 2017. John Paul tells the cops his wife suffers from, quote, episodes, end quote, since the car's marital property, no charges were filed. Monday, March 11, 2024. Two incidents are filed with authorities naming Micah as a victim. She calls the police after finding her tire slash with a piece of metal that was later identified as a tire deflation device available for purchase online. Mechanics then find a GPS device attached to her car. Wednesday, March 13, 2024. Someone at Solid Rock Church files a police report alleging Micah transferred donation funds from the church's Zelle and Cash App accounts to her personal account. Micah leaves her apartment in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, shortly after noon, and heads to a pawn shop to buy a gun. 12.34 p.m. Micah leaves the pawn shop and travels on a highway, stopping at a gas station to buy gas and a drink. She heads toward North Carolina. 2.54 2.54 p.m. After about an hour and a half, Michael calls 911 from a park over the state line about 33 miles away from the gas station and says she plans to end her own life. Tell me what's um, happened. Um, I'm about to kill myself and I just want my family to know where to find me. 3.03 p.m. Deputies with the Sheriff's Office head to Lumber River State Park, contact the park rangers and begin a search within 30 minutes. Specialized units searching for mica from the air are deployed. 3.50 p.m. Detectives are approached by someone fishing in the area who says they heard crying followed by a gunshot. They also found a bag a few feet from the water's edge with Micah's ID inside of it. 4.23 p.m. A kayaker in the area calls 911 to report a body in the water. A perimeter is created to secure the area for an investigation. Within the hour, the chief of detective arrives and the medical examiner is called. 5.54 p.m. Crime scene investigation technician begins taking photos of the area and they found Micah's car. Inside the car, investigators found a gun case in the passenger seat and ammunition in the center console. The receipt for the weapon and her gas station stop are found. 7.11 p.m. A gun is discovered in the water at the park. Its serial number matches the case found in Micah's car. Tuesday, May 2nd, 2024. John Paul Miller sits down with WPDE for an interview. During the interview, he mentioned some of the struggles he thought Micah had with mental health. So um, over the years since we've been married, um, you know, some people struggle with high blood pressure, some struggle with diabetes, her struggle was uh, with mental health. And uh, whenever she stayed on her lithium, things were amazing. Um, she'd come off sometimes and, and things would be a little unusual. Uh, per her doctors, they told her even just recently, they um, had written that she was a homicidal, suicidal. And um, she had struggled with uh, suicide before. And um, each time, you know, helped her through it, took her to her doctor, and we got through it, and everything was fine. And so this pastime was still a shock, an incredible shock. Sunday, May 5th, 2024. Friends and family rally outside Solid Rock Church. Some in Micah's family dispute the manner of death described by her estranged husband. This has to be at least looked into uh, deeply. There's got to be some accountability here um, because, uh, yeah, it's a tragic life was lost and it's not just as simple as somebody had some mental issues. A memorial service honoring her life followed the rally. Monday, May 6, 2024, the medical examiner releases Micah's cause of death. They conclude that she died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. 
Micah's family meets with deputies about the investigation. John Paul asked the sheriff's office to meet with him in South Carolina. The investigation team said they did not plan to cross the state lines. Wednesday, May 8, 2024. Public records requested by WPDE are released, detailing the events leading up to Micah's suicide. 